welcome back my students dr over here and today i bring you the lecture of meninges of the brain this is the video first from the playlist of the meninges of the brain and the cerebrospinal fluid which is the video which is the playlist and the chapter second of the neuroanatomy book of the bdc so let's begin with our topic that's meninges of the brain clear so this brain it's a delicate organ so our brain is a delicate organ delicate clear so it needs protection so it needs protection so our brain needs protection so it is protected by first we have here the bony layer the first protection is provided by bone really so we have the bony layer clear or bony cranium that is the first layer of protection number second layer of protection is provided by three membranous coverings three membranous coverings those three membranous coverings are called as the meninges so second protection is provided by three membranous coverings three membranous coverings those are called as the meninges those are called as the meninges clear so the first layer of protection is by the bony layer that's by the cranium then we have the three membrane layering layers <coughs> three membrane coverings number first covering number second covering and the number third covering clear and then we have here the delicate brain tissue brain tissue this first membrane layer membrane covering is called as the dura mater the second layer is called as the arachnoid mater and the third layer is called as the pia mater pia mater is the inner side towards the brain tissue whereas the dura mater is the outer layer which is associated with the bony layer clearly so brain is pro uh, protected by number first we have the bony layer this is the bony layer then we have the three membrane coverings these are the three membrane coverings one two and three dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater the third protection is provided by spaces the third space the third protection to the brain this delicate <clears throat> organ is provided by spaces these spaces are associated with these meninges with these meninges so what are these spaces this is the dura mater a meninge layer above the dura mater and between this bony layer there is a space you can see the space space a this space is above the dura mater so it's called as the epidural space epidural space so number first space we have the epidural space number second space is the space b between the dura mater and the arachnoid mater this space here it is between below the dura mater so we call it subdural space and the third space is between the arachnoid mater and the pia mater this space right here it's called as the subarachnoid space it is below the arachnoid mater clearly so we have the three uh, uh three protections of the brain number first we have the bony layer then three membrane coverings and then three spaces clearly in this space, subarachnoid space, it is between the arachnoid matter and the pia matter. It contains CSF. It contains CSF, really. And these two, uh, this arachnoid matter and pia matter, these two meninges, the second and the third meninges, arachnoid matter and the pia matter, these two meninges are together known as leptomeninges. These together are known as leptomeninges. So these are about the protections of the brain. Now we first study this dura matter. Now we first study this dura matter. So let's begin dura matter dura matter so what is this dura matter it is a membrane covering which is uh, which is given to us for the protection of the brain what is the dura matter it separates the right and the left cerebral hemispheres we know in our brain in our cranial cavity we have two cerebral hemispheres these two cerebral hemispheres are separated by this dura matter clearly right and left left cerebral hemispheres separation clearly so between these two cerebral hemispheres there is dura matter it separates these two cerebral hemispheres this is the first uh, function of the dura matter what it also does it also partitions it also partitions cerebrum from cerebellum cerebrum from cerebellum and hypophysis cerebri hypophysis <coughs> cerebri so dura matter it separates right and left cerebral hemisphere that is the function first and number second it separates it partitions cerebrum from cerebellum and hypophysis cerebri clearly so this is about the dura matter if we talk about the dura matter which is present in the cranial cavity which is associated with the cranium that's called as the cranial dura that's called as the cranial dura clearly similarly the dura matter which is associated with the spinal cord or the spinal cavity that's called as the spinal dura that's called as the spinal dura 
this cranial dura is double layered this cranial dura it is made up of two layers double layered clearly while as the spinal dura it is single layered single layered clear so if we talk about the cranial dura cranial dura has two layers outer layer and the inner layer outer layer is called as the endosteal layer endosteal layer this is the outer layer similarly it has an inner layer inner layer that's called as the meningeal layer meningeal layer meningeal layer of dura matter clear so we can say that first we have here the bony layer then we have here the outer endosteal layer then we have here the inner meningeal layer then we have here the erythroid matter then we have here the pia matter then we have here brain tissue so what we have here this is the bony layer then we have here the endosteal layer of dura then we have here the meningeal layer of dura then we have here the arachnoid matter and then we have here the pia matter and then we have brain tissue then we have brain tissue then we have brain tissue clear this bony layer so this these two layers are dura matter these two layers are dura matter so the space between the uh, endosteal layer and the bony layer it is the epidural space epidural space the space between the meningeal layer of dura and the arachnoid matter is the subdural space and the space between the arachnoid matter and the pia matter is called as the subarachnoid space subarachnoid space this bony tissue is closely associated with the pia matter clearly the space between the endosteal layer of dura and the meningeal of dura clearly you can see it is enclosed by cranial vena sinuses so this space is en it encloses cranial so endosteal layer of dura matter and meningeal layer of dura matter between these two there is cranial vena sinuses cranial venous sinuses Clearly, example of cranial venous sinus is a superior sagittal sinus. Clearly, these diagrams are given in the BDC. So, let's have a look at them. First, we talked about the outer endosteal layer of the dura matter. So, we can look here. This is the endosteal layer of the dura matter. Clearly, similarly, we have the arachnoid matter. This is another diagram for the arachnoid matter. Clearly, and here is the another diagram if we can this is the these are the diagrams given in the bdc clearly this is another diagram this is the superior sagittal sinus which is an example of cranial venous sinuses between the two layers of dura this is the, this is the first this dural layer this is another dural layer clearly so between these two layers we have the superior sagittal sinus is an example of cranial venous sinuses clearly so these are the diagrams given in the bdc so this is so far now moving forward in the dura matter so we are talking about the dura matter so we are talking about the dura matter this dura matter it it has certain folds it has certain folds more precisely it has four folds it has how many folds four folds not the dura matter the meningeal layer of dura matter meningeal layer of dura matter meningeal layer of dura matter this meningeal layer of dura matter has four folds clearly has four folds these four folds divides the cranial cavity into the compartments into the compart into different compartment these four folds divide is the cranial cavity divide is cranial cavity cranial cavity into intercommunicating compartments into intercommunicating compartments for different parts of brain for different parts of clearly so this meningeal layer of dura matter it has four layers it has four folds which divides the cranial cavity into the different compartments for different parts of the brain clearly these four folds are these four folds are these four folds are fox cerebri then we have the tentorium cerebelli then we have the fox cerebelli Then we have the diaphragm cilia. Clearly, so this is all about the meningeal layer of dura. So what oh, what did we studied so far about the dura matter? First, dura matter it separates right and left cerebral hemisphere. It also separates cerebrum from cerebellum and hypophysis cerebri. We have the cranial and the spinal dura. Cranial dura is double layer and the spinal dura is single layer. The, the double layer, outer endosteal layer and the inner meningeal layer. Between these two, there is cranial venous sinuses. Clearly, these two enclose cranial venous sinuses. Clearly. 
so we also uh, I also showed you the diagrams from the BDC then we move on to the this layer this is called as the inner meningeal layer of the dura mater in this inner meningeal layer of dura mater what did we study it has various folds how many folds in precisely it has four folds which divide the cranial cavity into intercommunicating compartments for different parts of the brain clearly these four folds are the fox cerebri tentorium cerebelli fox cerebelli and diaphragm cerebelli if we in the BD, in the book bdc clearly in the book bdc the uh, these four folds of the dura mater you know here this is the diagram for these folds of the meningeal layer of the dura mater in my next video i will uh, i will show you how to draw this diagram i will that will be the, uh, that will be from the playlist of the diagram how to draw the various folds of the meningeal layer of the dura mater so these are you know diaphragm cellulite and tentorium cerebelli so this is the diagram given in the bdc so we completed about the dura mater now we move on to the uh, arachnoid matter we know we have arachnoid matter arachnoid matter clearly so what we know so far we have the bony layer then we have here the dura matter then we have the arachnoid matter then we have the pia matter then we have here the brain tissue clearly we completed dura matter now we move on to the arachnoid matter if we talk about the arachnoid matter is a thin transparent membrane clearly is a thin transparent membrane thin transparent membrane it surrounds brain loosely clearly loosely surrounds brain loosely surround this brain so it's a thin transparent membrane which loosely surrounds the brain clearly without dipping without dipping without dipping into various sulci without dipping into many sulci many sulci you know various uh, sulci what are sulci you know you, the brain tissue it has various in in folds clearly uh, pits these are called as sulci so this arachnoid matter it is loosely it loosely surrounds the brain and it does not dip into many sulci clearly so it's about the arachnoid matter so this is the first statement arachnoid matter it is the thin transparent membrane which loosely surrounds the brain and without dipping into many of the sulci clearly this arachnoid matter has certain prolongations it has certain prolongations those prolongations are called as the arachnoid villi those are called as the arachnoid villi what are these arachnoid villi these are finger like projections finger like projections clearly these are the prolongations of the arachnoid matter or arachnoid tissue clearly what is its function it absorbs csf it absorbs csf clearly so what is this arachnoid villi these are prolongations of the arachnoid matter these are finger like their function is absorption of csf clearly so if we talk about the arachnoid matter the diagram of the arachnoid matter clearly so clearly so this is the diagram of the arachnoid matter figure 2.3 given in the bdc this is of the endosteal layer of the dura matter figure 2.2 and 2.3 is about the arachnoid matter clearly so you can see the arachnoid matter covering the brain here right arachnoid matter covering the brain now we completed the arachnoid matter now we move on to the pia matter the third meningeal layer clearly now we talk about the pia last and the final meningeal layer pia matter pia matter this pia matter is closely associated with the brain tissue this is the pia matter this layer pia matter and this is the brain tissue clearly it closely in investes the brain closely investes the brain it closely investes the brain clearly so it's very closely associated with the brain and it dips into various sulci and it dips into sulci into sulci so the various sulci on the brain tissue surface it, and, uh, so this pia matter dips in those sulci or the various irregularities present on the surface of the brain clearly so this is the first statement on the pia matter another statement it comprises of epia pia and epiglia and epi and pia glia sorry pia glia so this pia matter consists of epi pia and pia glia clearly so this is the first statement in the pia matter and this is the second statement another statement an important statement this pia matter has folds various folds of pia matter various folds of pia matter clearly various folds of pia matter various folds of pia matter which enclose a tuft of capillaries which enclose tuft of capillaries so this arrangement the folds of pia matter which enclose a tuft of capillaries these form tela choroidea tela choroidea which is an important for the csf circulation csf formation which is important for the formation of csf you know the choroidea of the lateral third and fourth ventricle forms the csf clearly so this is all about the pia matter and uh, now we have the spaces we know about the spaces 
so we have the bony layer so a division of the spaces bony layer clearly then we have here the endosteal layer of the dura mater clearly between the bony layer and the endosteal layer we have the epidural space then we have the another layer of the dura mater that's called as the meningeal layer of dura mater this endosteal and the meningeal layer of dura mater it includes cranial venous sinuses clearly between the meningeal layer of dura mater and we have the arachnoid mater we have the subdural space clearly between the arachnoid mater and the pia mater we have here the you know subarachnoid space and between the pia mater and pia mater is closely associated with the brain tissue clearly so this is all about the spaces and the different meninges of the brain you know the diagram for the pia mater is given in the bdc figure 2.5 this is the pia mater this is the pia mater so you know this is the pia mater this is the superior sagittal sinus an example of cranial main sinuses and this is the endosteal layer and this is the arachnoid matter and this is the min various folds of the meningeal layer of the dura matter clearly these are the diagrams given in the bdc book clearly so thank you your dr ugwe here it was a very easy topic keep revising thank you